Childhood books. All these are sweet pickle books, except for the top two, which are serendipity books by Stephen Cosgrove. Um, I don't know if you've seen these, but these are really cute. They have, um, I'm going to keep this one. Merry Christmas, Jody, Love Mom. Although she wrote it to probably Brie first. <laughs> um, but this is serendipity. She's not in all the books, um, but that's the, I guess, kind of the main character for this grouping of Stephen Cosgrove books. And they just have really neat art, and they always have, they're always kind of like cautionary tales. So they're a lot of fun. And then this other one, which was my brother's, is Hucklebug. I don't remember the stories on either of these, so I'll have to look at them. I do, however, remember a lot of the stories in these Sweet Pickle books. Did you ever have these Sweet Pickle books growing up? I loved the Sweet Pickles. And they had this commercial that had a bus. And there was like a little case um, that looked like a bus that had like preschool games and stuff in it. And so in the commercial, they had the bus like coming up to your house, this little green like Sweet Pickles bus. And so I always waited by the front door because I thought the Sweet Pickles bus was going to come to my house. Here comes the Sweet Pickles bus. Smart moms know how kids' minds grow upon Sweet Pickles. Your child's head start for school starts with this free Sweet Pickles preschool bus. There are stickers, games, puzzles, and hours of fun inside. And bring me some Sweet Pickles books. They just came in the regular mail, but I always thought they were coming through that bus. So these are all the characters here. They're all the um, alphabet. So there's one for each. Although I don't have the whole set. Um, this has this has a book plate in it. It says this is a reading, a riff book. And um, riff is called Reading is Fundamental. It's a nonprofit organization for kids where they give kids books. And um, the school that I went to, a few times during the year, they would set everything up in the gym, and then you could go around on um, look at these tables that had um, books. You could pick a book or two, it depended on um, what was going on. But several of these books have these riff tags in them, so I'm assuming that uh, I always picked out the Sweet Pickle books. <laughs> There's one very worried walrus. Oh, that's my sister's. Walrus was nervous. This one was called Some Friend. Now these are, this isn't one of the uh, character books. These were like more books that came out, I guess, after they did all the characters. And um, this is another one of those special ones. The Secret Club. Then we have Kiss Me, I'm Vulture, and Vulture is very vain. We've got Scaredy Bear, very afraid of everything, Scaredy Bear. There's my fantabulous, probably, kindergarten handwriting. <laughs> Who can trust Kangaroo? Uh-oh, doesn't tell the truth. No kicks for dog. He's kind of depressed. Dog is, I remember. Stork spills the beans. Can't keep a secret. Elephant eats the profits. Zip goes zebra. I remember the zebra was... Um, here's a good picture of him here. He was zany. He wore mismatched clothes and he skateboarded upside down. He was a zany fella, which got him into all kinds of trouble, probably. Who stole Alligator's shoe? Alligator was irresponsible, I think is what I remember, that he always lost things because he didn't keep track of his things well. Goose goofs off. Goose, get back to work. <laughs> Fixed by Camel. Camel was... Uh, 
he was kind of a fix-it guy, but I feel like maybe he didn't always know what he was doing. I think. I don't remember. Very worried walrus. There's another one of those. And this one is Me Too Iguana. And, oh, see, that's another riff one. And I believe Iguana wanted to be just like everybody else. I think was what iguana's issue was and inside the book they had um this little graphic of the little sweet pickles town super cute fun books